Evening guys, welcome back to the channel and what we're going to have a little look at today is a DIY on spark plug leads, um, HT leads, whatever you want to call them. Okay, uh, You can buy these as obviously as ready made kits for a car or you can buy sets that you build yourselves which fundamentally um, come as the cables, this is a 7mm uh, cable with a kind of carbon core, quite high resistance. Not 100% sure it's right for the, uh, the the place I'm going to be using it, but it, it works as a uh, as a bit of a DIY. And it also comes with connectors, which we can have a look at over here. So if you buy a kit, sorts of things you get. This is for a V8, so there are nine leads because one of them is a king lead, and that goes from the coil to the distributor, and you have crimping or connectors that you crimp on these are the ones for the distributor and these are single crimp and these are the spark plug ends again single crimp ones which goes over the end of the spark plug there and they come with a selection of boots so these are straight boots for the uh, distributor end and the little boots for going over the over the plugs there so what i intend to do is just sorry, amazing camera work there uh what i intend to do is just show you how you can cut these to length how you fold them back how you crimp them because it seems like one of those things that people are a little bit confused as to how to do yourself but it's relatively straightforward, even with just simple tools. First thing you want to do is, if you've got a selection of leads, uh, lead lengths, is to kind of divvy them up into roughly what's going to go to what cylinder and uh, lay them all out to make sure that you've got ones that are long enough. But don't cut them to length yet. Instead, make sure that you cut one end back. Now, these are for single crimp or rather I've cut this for a single crimp connector which means I've got about three quarters of an inch of stick out on there now this is all RF shielded sort of HT uh, cables you get rubber insulator this is the radio frequency shielding and this is your kind of carbon core uh, center on there but the interior is very flexible you can fold it back there if you've got single crimp ends you want to have about as i say about three quarters of an inch stick out because you have to fold it back like that there are double crimp ends where you have a lot shorter stick out and you don't fold it back so that's the first thing and then what we're going to do is we're going to say that that is going to be our spark plug end because then what we can do is we can sort of do the lead run and we can work out whereabouts in the distributor is going and we can cut it to length and we need to go and grab the end that's going to go on there which is going to be one of these now this has an end that the lead will go into and then it needs to be crimped over now you can get ratcheting crimps that you can just use by hand um, I don't have one of those. What I do have is a set of dies that goes into a bench vise, which is about a quarter of the price um, and does pretty much the same job. Maybe just not quite so user friendly. So here we have the spark plug end connector and here we have the wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold the end back over like this and going to make sure that the end I've just folded over sits against the back end of this and we're going to put it in so it's about that far in it sits connecting touching up against that little sort of ferrule there and so that I don't have to have loads of hands to do the next part I'm just going to use a standard pair of pliers to start getting it crimped over a little bit Uh, 
That way it will now kind of hold itself together when I try to put it in the set of dies that I've got to go in the vise. So let's put that down for a second. Now these are quite simple. What you have is two sets of plastic dies. The only one we need is this one with the groove that runs up the middle. Because what will happen here is when we compress this in the vise is it will push these two open ends inwards and it will actually form the crimped end and hold it all together. Now this is an absolutely ancient bench vise with a nice set of really bent knackered jaws and a bent knackered handle but it will do the job once we've got it lined up. We'll just And the footage of that crimping was absolutely awful, but that is the finished joint. So the little V in the die crimped that down there. And then what we can do is we can slide the boot on over the top and we can connect it all together. So I've slipped the boot over the end now and connected it to the, um, the plug on cylinder number eight. Um, now I know the way I want to loop these I want to have them running up here under the coil and all kind of grouped together up here. I know the firing order is 1478, 1478 even. Um, so I need it to reach this terminal up here. So what I'm going to do is just rough it into position and we'll leave a little bit of slack. We'll cut this around about here and then we'll uh, get rid of the cable and we'll do the other end. I'm just cutting these with a the standy blade by the way just to gently roll in so you don't actually have to remove the uh, the covering on here. Um, it's a bit stripped off at the end there but you don't have to. So again what I'll do is I'll just cut that to the right length and then we will put on one of these terminals which is the correct one for going in to the distributor however this time what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put one of these boots on because unlike the spark plug ones which don't have to slide on very far and so you can do them after you've got the uh, terminal on these ones have to slide on quite a lot further and um, so it's easier to kind of put them on first then crimp your terminal slide them back on afterwards so there we have our completed cable from there running up where it needs to be going and into the correct point on the distributor. So all we need to do is do that for the remaining seven. So once again guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found that quite useful. And uh, if you've enjoyed some of the content that we've been putting out, whether it's the DIY stuff, whether it's the product testing, whether it's just simply a review of uh, some of the cars that we're building here and some of the little things that you can get up to in your own garage. And again, please give us a like, give us a subscribe and uh, drop me any comments. Take care.